Good morning. It is Thursday morning. It's the 5th of October. And it's a little chilly in here this morning. It's uh, down in the mid-40s outside and only about 67 degrees in here. I got a lot of the lights on right now. Running my little 4-watt bulbs. Putting out a little bit of heat. Trying to keep it kind of warm in here. I'm getting ready to head over to the train yard here in a little bit. i wait a little bit longer. I don't think my light jacket is going to do it today. I'm going to have to get something else. So I mentioned last night during the food and conversation that I was going to take some new pennies over there to be run over by the freight train. So I wanted to gain, get some pennies that have a huge amount of time between them. On the left we got a 2022 penny and that's the newest one I, I couldn't find a 23 I don't know, even know if they make uh, new pennies now doesn't seem to make much sense to waste our time on making pennies and then on the right is a 1967 penny so according to my math that's 55 years difference and the reason I want to do this is to see what uh, what they're gonna look like, uh, the difference in them after they've been run over. I know, and maybe some of my uh, subscribers out there can comment down below and, and let me know about this. Um, before, I would assume that a penny in the old days was made out of copper. I know it's made out of copper, but it would have been solid copper. I'm not sure about that, comment down below and it would have been a one cent worth of copper right and i guess that changed when uh, at some point when copper became uh, worth more than one penny people were taking apparently uh, before i was born people were taking them and melting them down and selling them for more than the pennies were worth I do believe that's the way it was, but I could be wrong, so please comment down below if you know. And uh, so I think the last wheat back penny, I, I no longer have wheat backs, that 67 is not a wheat back, because I, all the wheat backs and all the silver money and everything, I, I went ahead and sold a long time ago because I was dead broke and I had quite a bit of silver money and a lot of old, old wheat back pennies, going all the way back to almost 1900. And I, those, those I just found in my parents' you know, penny collection years ago. Uh, but I think the last wheat back, the last year they made it was, I wanna say 1959, I may be wrong, so if you know, comment down below. And uh, I believe those were solid pennies, maybe, maybe not. And then after that, they started making them out of other metal and just copper coating them. And I don't know if they have changed that over the years or not. So that's why I went with uh, a newest penny as I could get, 2022. So maybe it is almost all of some type of alloy or something like that. And very, very little copper. So I thought it would be interesting to let the train run over that run over both of those and uh, see what they look like. So I'm gonna take them over there today. If they get run over today, great, I'll bring them back. If they don't, then uh, I'll go over tomorrow and get them and hopefully somebody doesn't swipe them. So that's the plan. We'll be heading over there pretty soon. Gonna get a little bit of something to eat and I'm gonna drink my cup of coffee sitting over there. And we'll be heading over there for our walk and uh, heading out for a walk and Spend a little time at the freight train yard. All right, I am huffing and puffing. Oh, I just arrived here to the train yard. Oh, my nose is running all over the place here. Phew, that felt good. That was a good walk. All right, I don't see a train, but I think I can hear one. So, way down there, I can see, I see what looks like one engine parked there by the tank, but I hear something farther down. So yesterday, not yesterday, I wasn't here yesterday. The day before I was here, 
And those guys had showed up here with those two uh, hoist trucks and they were working over here. It looks like they actually brought more more rails and I thought they were taking them but it actually looks like they brought more rails. You can see the marks here. Oh, there's little birds walking around looking for food. So yeah, it looks like they brought more rails. I don't know if they were here yesterday. But I was not here. It is pretty chilly this morning. I should have brought gloves. My hands are feeling it. And I just put my long sleeve comfortable shirt on. And uh, thought that would be enough. And it is. But my hands are getting chilly. And he's getting a little closer. But I'm sure he's going to back back down. We're not too far away from our post there. At the end of the puddle of water. But he's way too close for me to go out there wandering on the main line. And now, I have to respect uh, that situation. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and be even more respectable. And he's going forward, so let's get off of this line too. I think there's virtually no chance that he's going to be coming here. I respect those guys and their big toys, the engines. He's down there throwing a switch, so he should be backing up now and going into the yard. Go into their, their little storage. reversing now. So I wrote myself a note here telling me which track to put the 67 penny on and which track to put the 22 penny on. And I even indicated the post. So I just got to get over there and do it. It's just to, it's just to remind me. And here they are right here, the nice shiny one is the 22 and the dull one is the 67 just to show that that one is not a wheat back, neither one of course are because I would not want to be destroying a wheat back, they are uh, somewhat of a collector's items but as I found out too awful long ago they're not worth much except in big quantities. Alright, he's going backwards. Let's take a little walk over here. Okay, let's set our new ones out. Okay, there's the 2022 sitting right there. And over here is the 1967, 55 years between those two. The engine is still down there, and there's our post. So now let's leave the main line in case those guys are getting ready to fire up more engines and come up here. And they might be. Well, so my guess. Okay, I've left the area of the pennies and I'm walking down this way. See absolutely nothing going on down there. Alright, it's been standing here another six or seven minutes. And yeah, noticing a big bank of fog over there to the left of the screen. And there's also fog down that way. And there's also pollution from half a dozen or more smokestacks down there and the engines are not going anywhere there's a vehicle light behind there like a truck light like they're working
working on the engine or something. So we'll start to walk back home. I'm feeling a little bit of arthritis pain. So the less I just stand around here doing nothing, the better I guess. Okay. All right, crossing the tracks. I see the, I step on these railroad ties and I keep thinking that they're covered with ice and I have to be careful about that. Especially later on in the winter, winter if I'm coming over here. If those things are moist at all and they're covered with ice, boy, I could have one heck of a fall down accident. And you know me, I'm not allowed to fall down. The sun has finally come up this morning. So I better just get used to not stepping on railroad ties now to avoid a nasty accident. Later on this winter, wouldn't want that. All right, the last set of tracks to cross and I'm back on my side of the town.